uh, today's video we'll be focusing on adjusting some of the edge flow around the face before finalizing the base mesh, mesh model. Um, so I'm just having a look at one last look at the face and I'm not happy with this edge flow here. So I'm going to adjust this down to bring it down towards the mouth for better animation. So just grabbing these edges and connecting them then using target weld to weld them down into this to to these to create the loop uh, and then I'm going to turn on my constraint to edges I'm just seeing W on the keyboard to bring up my move manipulator and then I'm going to move these down into a, a better curve to follow the the shape of the head and then I select these and holding control I'm going to hit delete uh, backspace not delete Control and backspace to get rid of the edge and the vertices that are um, assigned to it. So, yeah, just fixing up some of the edge flow here. So still with my constraint edges on. Not happy with that, how it's going to work there. What I'll do is I'll turn off my constraint edges for a second just so I can adjust these a little bit. So yeah, I'm just changing these edges because that the polygon up here as the edge was flowing, if she smiled that would have caused um, strange pinching or a flipped edge. It would have it just would have looked strange as her lip as her cheeks rose as well with the smile. So so I'm just trying to fix this now to um, to better compensate for the range of motion that the mouth needs to do my um constraint back on I'm just trying to figure out how how to get rid of that end gong now too So you can see comparison comparison of the side of this that I have changed to the side that I haven't, and how that if as if we raise this corner of the mouth, 
this side will create a nice fold here around the chin and the cheek will be able to lift and create that smile for it. But if we do it over here, this would raise and this would try and raise, but then this edge wouldn't know which way it was going and it would cause a pinch and an odd shadow. So this is definitely the better edge loop to follow. We just need to get rid of this end gong. Okay, there we go. So that I've added that edge and then adjusted some of these to remove the, the end gongs that would uh, uh, appear. And you can see how it differs from the side that we haven't changed. So I still need to bring these verts down a little bit so it, it, um, it fills out and these edges aren't so close together. So with working with edge constraint, it's just about finding the right axis that will get you get the vertex to move in the direction you want it. Sometimes using the one you would think, like X for moving it to the right, isn't going to work the way you want it. And you'll need to use the Z to move it down instead. And again, just making sure that we're looking good and the shape is still the way, still correct compared to the other side. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So now, of course, we need to get that onto the other side of the model. To do that, we'll um, go into the front view. Let's 
move into the head and grab the, the polygon mode. And I'll select these faces of the, the head and detach. Just OK. And then going back to the head, I'll grab the polygons and select the side of the chat face that I didn't change and delete that. Make sure that everything has been deleted. Excellent. So then we'll just clone and mirror. Make sure it's a copy, not an instance. And then I'll mirror that, collapsing and attaching the two meshes together. And selecting the middle edges and welding those together. Again, very small threshold. We don't want to weld the lips. Making sure that looks about right. Yeah. And turn on Alt X so we can see that we are welding. And the lips haven't been put together. Excellent. So then just hit OK. Now we'll select our body again and attach, reattach the head and weld the verts around the neck. So there we go. Much better. Let's reset our X forms again. I'm just going to fix up the smoothing groups on this eyebrow. I'm going to grab this ring and convert them to polygon. And I'm going to change the smoothing groups from 1 to 2. And I'll grab this edge and these ones down here. And make that 3. So clearing all and making 3. And this one here I'm going to clear and make 4. So now if I apply a Turbo Smooth on there and I go separate by smoothing groups, it'll keep that shape that we created. And you can see how that looks better compared to the one that we haven't adjusted. So we'll do the same on this eyebrow. We'll attach those together. There we go. So it looks much better now.